Lockdown or not? This is a question again governments around the world are struggling with. Some believe it's inevitable that Omicron drags the world back into difficulties with countries and cities having to return to lockdowns. Others, however, now opine that lockdowns at the end of the year would mean not only restrictions, but also the ruin of a much anticipated Christmas without a festive atmosphere. Protests against lockdowns have broken out again with subsequent clashes on the streets. Since this kind of lockdown controversy was already on the table when the coronavirus first hit, and Omicron probably won't be the last variant to reignite it, now is the time to talk about one thing. How effective are lockdowns? First, one thing must be made clear. A lockdown is not one specific outbreak control measure, but rather a series of government interventions including travel restrictions, social distancing, and institutional closures. When a city or a country adopts multiple highly restrictive interventions, then we say it's in lockdown. That's why we've seen France announce that it will close nightclubs and tighten social distancing measures, while at the same time saying it will avoid lockdowns. And when Austria declared a lockdown, what it entailed was that people would not be allowed to leave their houses except for essential tasks such as grocery shopping. Therefore, the degree of restrictions adopted is the crux. Is this kind of strict multifaceted intervention effective in controlling the pandemic? According to the WHO, the aim of a lockdown is to slow COVID-19 transmission by limiting contact between people. The effect can be seen in Austria. It is among several European countries that have imposed the strictest restrictions in the latest wave of the outbreak and went into a nationwide lockdown on November the 22nd. And it worked. As of December 7th, the lockdown had significantly reduced the number of seven-day infections in Austria. At the same time, academic studies have confirmed that lockdown measures do help reduce transmission and lower infection rates, although some studies suggest that the effect may be mild in some countries. No matter how useful lockdowns are, we must admit that when people took the streets to protest, they shouted freedom, not just to make life difficult for governments, but because the negative impacts of lockdowns were real. The WHO has acknowledged this, warning that lockdowns can have a profound negative impact on individuals, communities, and societies, and disproportionately affect disadvantaged groups. Lockdowns have forced businesses to slash hours, layoffs have followed, employment has declined, mental issues are of serious concern, and when you consider broader dimensions such as global supply chains, the downside is even greater. Yes, they can effectively reduce the transmission of coronavirus, but they also can have negative effects on production and living. In the early days of the pandemic, many countries and cities had to focus on the former because there was no vaccine and the world was facing a concentrated outbreak. A decisive lockdown was one of the few quickest ways to contain the situation. Now that vaccines are being distributed around the world and outbreaks are not as sudden as they were then, we should also see the latter, that lockdowns are not a perfect answer. So how can we balance the two sides? The WHO emphasizes the following. Number one, choose interventions in line with local realities. Different countries have different geographical conditions, economic levels, and cultural backgrounds, and also face different levels of pandemic severity. The fundamental principle is to choose interventions that suit each individual situation. Number two, utilize the extra time granted by lockdowns to move fast. By temporarily slowing or even halting society, lockdowns can buy time for other more essential problem-solving measures. During this time, countries should strengthen their detection, tracking, and isolation capabilities to allow them to effectively combat the coronavirus. Number three, do it all. The WHO is yelling at the world that using all appropriate measures together does work to combat outbreak. This means that the lockdown should not be an isolated measure, but should be used in conjunction with others. One of the most important is vaccination. A lockdown is not a disaster, but it is no panacea either. At this point, it is indeed necessary for countries to think more carefully about whether or not to adopt lockdowns. Only a more precise analysis of a country or a city situation and effects of various measures can balance the fight against the pandemic and the pace of life more effectively. What kind of lockdowns have you experienced? Do you think they work? Feel free to share your story with us below.